Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to calculate and interpret the process capability ratio, or CP, and the process capability index, or CBK. This question corresponds to problem S6.27 in your text. Here's our data. We have a computer chip company that manufactures computer chips with an average life of 1800 hours and a standard deviation of 100 hours. The upper tolerance and lower specification are 2400 hours and 1600 hours respectively. And we're asked to determine is the process capable of producing DRAM chips according to specification. We'll be able to accomplish this by determining CP or process capability and CPK or the process capability index. The formula for the process capability ratio is the upper spec minus the lower spec divided by six standard deviations or six sigma. In our problem, we have an upper specification of 2400 hours. The lower spec is 1600 hours and divide by six times 100 or 600. So this gives us 800 over 600 and yields a process capability ratio of 1.33. Now, since this 1.33 is greater than 1.0, we can conclude that the process is capable of producing chips relative to tolerance, let's say within tolerance. But now let's look at the CPK. The CPK is equal to the minimum of either the upper spec minus the average output or X bar divided by three standard deviations or the average life minus the lower spec divided by three standard deviations. So we know our upper spec is 2400 and we know our average is 1800 hours and we're going to divide that by 3 times 100 or 300 and the lower will have 1800 minus 1600 divided by 300. So we either have 2.00 and on the lower spec 0 0.67 and we want the minimum of either of those. Well that's going to be 0 0.67. Now what this tells us is that the production of DRAM chips is favoring the lower specification. So let's start for a second, assuming that we had a perfectly capable process with a CP of one and CPK of one would look something like this, 2400, a mean of 1800. So a nicely centered, perfectly capable process would look something like this. So producing perfectly balanced within specifications. So this would be a CP of 1.0 and a CPK of 1.0. A CP of 1.33 is actually more than capable, more than capable. But in terms of it producing exactly around the mean, the CPK, the process capability index, tells us that's not the case. So if we were to draw what this looks like, with a CPK of 0.67 means that our actual output is sort of looking like something like this. This is a, not drawn to scale or anything, but you see, with a mean of 1800, with something like that. So this company is actually producing chips that are closer to the lower end of the uh, allowable tolerances, which means that they will likely produce chips whose lives are too short. And even though the process is still capable of producing within those tolerances, the company might want to do something to determine what's going on and see if it can shift that curve more towards the center so that it produces chips with a bit of a longer life. And that's it for this example of CP and CPK.